The consumer price index shows the prices of goods and services in the U.S. rose one tenth of one percent last month. From last May through this past May, inflation was at four percent. That's not bad, but not great. The biggest price decline last month, energy. Fuel oil down 7.7%. You see there, gas prices dropped more than 5%. That's nationwide, and that's also true in Indiana as well. Prices way down from last year when it topped $5 a gallon. And some good news on that. Patrick DeHaan of Gas Buddy says it looks like prices will stay down. It's going to be uh, overall a much more affordable summer. There will still be increases and decreases here and there. But again, instead of prices starting with a five, we're talking about prices this summer starting with a three. Now, prices going in the other direction up include used vehicles up 4.4% in May. That's on top of a 4.4% increase in April. Transportation services and shelter also on the rise. Overall, inflation has had little impact on consumer spending. People have money and they're spending it and that worries Tom Essay at Seven's Report Research. And that's sort of the conundrum, right, is, is that people don't really restrain their spending until they're nervous about losing their job and not being able to find another one. And with unemployment low, it fuels the spending that fuels inflation. So how should consumers approach the rest of this year? Andy Mattingly at Forum Credit Union suggests caution and a plan. So you still want to stick so that idea that people don't like to have is, but it's a budget and try not to spend more than you make and add debt. And that second half of the year spending plan has to account for holiday spending. That one catches a lot of us. Steve Brown, CBS4 News. All right, Steve, thank you.